Here we are at Your Town Prize Homes Draw 537. Welcome to 7 Sorensen Avenue in Budrum. Now this area here is one of the most coveted enclaves of Budrum. This is a gorgeous cul-de-sac street, so nice and quiet. And outside of the neighbours doing their gardens, you can just hear the tranquility. Now, we're at the front entrance right here now. You've got your double garage just beside us here. And then here is your entry to the home. You can see the hallway goes right down to the back entertaining space. Now we are gonna take you down that way shortly, but what we wanted to do first is just show you through this beautiful little landscaped area around the side to your separate retreat. So this retreat means if you wanted to earn a little income on the side, or if you wanted to have relatives coming over and staying with you, they've got a separate entry. I can actually hear the neighbor's chickens across the road, quietly clucking in the background. So here is the beautiful little courtyard for the retreat. As you can see, we've set up here already for our first guests, a little bit of lime tea with an apple there. So a lovely sunny spot where you can sit down and just enjoy the outdoor space with some privacy so you have total um, separation from the main home. So if we come through this way, you can actually use this as a separate entrance, as we said before, as well as come through off the main front door. So we've got your TV space, little lounge area, a kitchenette there. And we've got Kaz working with me today to show you through this beautiful property. So over to, this is your entry door just off the front entrance of the house. And then just in here, Kaz, we have the bedroom. Nice size bedroom overlooking the beautiful front garden. It looks like a rainforest in the front yard. It's just gorgeous. So here we've got lots of storage in the wardrobes. Some extra pillows there for our winner. More storage here. Some lovely little details here with the brush rose gold in the handles. Now, I just wanted to show over here, Cass, so you've got this um, patterned glass, which gives you light, but also privacy. And then over here on the windows, Cass, out the front, you can see the beautiful garden space there. These windows open, you've got security screening on those front windows there as well, which I know you guys love. And we'll take you through this way to the ensuite for the guest retreat. And you can just see that beautiful light as well coming into the courtyard there. So just around to the left here, you've got your ensuite. Where? Shower. Some storage in here for guests. <laughs> And then you've got your, your toilet just there. So double towel rail. We've got frosted glass up there on the window above the toilet, which also has security screening on it. Uh, there's lots of louvers in this house, which is great because you are sitting on an escarpment on the hill and it's absolutely beautiful to breathe. So you certainly ceiling fans, there's ducted air conditioning throughout, but being able to capture that natural light and the natural breeze is just beautiful. All right, now let us take you through the rest of this beautiful home. So we'll go through the front door of the retreat, back out to the front door of the home. So as we said, it feels like a rainforest in this beautiful streetscape. It's good to know with your front door, your front door here, the frame actually does have this separate piece that does hinge back so like the front door does here so if you had anything larger you wanted to get in and out of the house then you can open that up and that front door will open all the way for you now we're going to show you down this gorgeous entry hallway and there's a few little things i want to show you along the way so just here on your left you will see this gorgeous paneling right along the wall in that lovely green color 
conceals the doorways to other rooms of the house. So here, you've got your garage, which we'll show you in our garden tour. So that's just a sneak peek. And then on the other side of you there, Kaz, we just have in the entry, and I know you love it when I say it, storage for days. So loads and loads and loads of storage. So bags, shoes, anything else that you need to just take with you in the car or out the front door can all be stored at the front of the house, not sitting on a side table. So find a spot for all of those things that are important to you. So you'll find them just as you leave the house. So a little upholstered seat here. So you can pop your shoes on here if that's something you want to do and not have shoes through the house. Again, storage, 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 storage. And we've got a couple of hooks here. If you've got coats, dogs leads, anything like that you would like to hang at the entry. And then a couple of baskets here, which could be used what, with, for whatever you like. Some people like to pop laundry in there, you know, footy jerseys and those sorts of things from kids sports straight out of the garage into that. They can go straight into the laundry. So let's go down the hallway here. You've got two banks of louvers that open into this really nice wide hallway. Again, they're security screened. So you have the advantage of keeping humans and insects out. There's this lovely lighting detail in the hallway over those floors. It's just a nice little touch. We'll come through to here and we have very first powder room and then bathroom. There's some really lovely details in all of the areas of the home, but this lovely brush brass tapware, the detail. Here in your main bathroom, we've got uh, double two double towel rails, which is plenty. You've got louvers back up there near the shower. Again, screened, privacy glass. Got them again over here just next to your basin. So really helping to get rid of that heat and steam transfer, which is wonderful. You've got storage underneath your basin there. Lovely stone top. And of course, you have a little bit more storage there above the basin with your bed. So lots of power points. Um, lighting just here. We've got some quirky little additions of art there that Kate will go through with you in a lot more detail as she does her design tour. Here's your next bank of louvers here. Same thing, we've got a little garden that you're looking out onto there and your louvers with your security screen. Now we just have to backtrack one room here opposite this second bank of louvers. And as I said, if you're entertaining, I really love the fact that this is concealed from your guests. So all bedrooms and rooms outside of your entertaining space are concealed. The media room. Nice big TV, ceiling fan in here as well. You've got your window with your security screens and your shear. Great space to relax and watch a movie when it is occasionally not pleasant weather to be outside, but today is autumn in Queensland at its best. So we have another room here. They're really generous sized bedrooms. So this is quite a robust size bed and they're nice big bedside tables and you've got plenty of room. So we've got a bank of drawers in here as well as shelving. So there we go, we'll come back through here, take you into the next room. Same situation, nice big bed, air conditioning, ceiling fans, your windows, security screens, your lovely shears, and the same wardrobe configuration as we showed you in the last one. We know that a lot of you are gonna love that 
all of this home is single level living. So you can access everything, but there's so many zones that you can go through to get some privacy. Go through here, Kaz. Now our last port of call for bedrooms, we're gonna take you into our primary or main bedroom, which is just off to the side here. Now check out that view from your bed. Looking out onto the incredible Sunshine Coast, what a beautiful day. We'll show you a little bit more of what you can see there off the main living space shortly, but what a really lovely place to sit and just unwind. Again, in this bedroom, you've got another bank of louvers as a window. Here on the front area, you also have more louvers with your security screening. So if you wanted a bit of airflow during the night, you could have this closed, have your uh, louvers open and just get that airflow through. Ceiling fan, air conditioning. It's nice wallpaper detail behind the, the main bed. Of course, a TV there up on your right. If looking at that view is something that will make you bored, you can watch telly for a while or watch the news in the morning, whatever works for you in your morning routine. And then we go through here where you'll find the wardrobe space. So it's a lovely main wardrobe area. Space for everything. You've got half hanging here as well as your shelving and your drawers. And of course, something that's very important, when you win a Your Town Prize home, we give you a robe that you can make you feel like you are living in a five-star resort. Now, you could wear said robe coming out of that incredible freestanding bath. So privacy glass again with your shower. There's a shelf detail here as well. Well, all the way along you can keep your shampoos and soaps and things like that. Double shower, so you have on both sides your rain shower and your handheld. It's a nice big brush brass grate there on the floor. We're testing Kaz's bending ability today. So here we have the louvers where you can get that natural airflow through as well, which is just fantastic. Over on the double basin here. Twin storage. And again, as we showed you before, storage in behind your mirrors there. So we'll go back through this wardrobe space here. So I'll just show you here, we've got drawers as well. And then over here, again, some nice long hanging. I want to show you this detail as well because it's really lovely. So instead of doing a sliding door, there is a great door here, that barn door, which has got the same brush brass detail that you've got in your fittings around the property. So nice for privacy, but a nice aesthetic detail as well. Okay. Let's go check out what everybody gets to see. Really lovely open plan living space. And if we just hold up there on your left hand side, Kaz, where you've got your dining table, you'll see here your laptop that comes with first prize. Just if you want to sit there and check your emails or your social media, so not a really lovely big table setting. What we love about this is it's very social. So it's a great indoor space that's not too formal. This house is all about feeling like you are on holidays all year round. This magnificent kitchen space. It's uh, the detail here on the front of your kitchen mirrors the detail that you can see as you come down the front entryway. This is a lovely uh, curved area at the front here. Kate will, will take you a little bit more through the design aesthetic uh, when she does her tour. But this is lovely as well that you 
we've got these grooves etched into the top of the bench so that you, your water can drain off into the sink. White sink with the brush brass details. And just because we'll add a little bit more brush brass for you, brush brass cutlery as well. So fridge freezer space here. These are a great uh, fridge freezer. Loads of space. Again, drawers <laughs> for days. Here you can see your um, cooktop extraction fan in behind there. But it's still storage there as well. These are really easy to use. There's no handles, but very, very easy to use, as you can see. And they're self-close. There's LED lighting up under here as well, which is a nice subtle light um, for the kitchen, as well as this pretty serious oven, Fisher and Pykel, for those who are avid chefs, of which I am not. So I've got your coffee machine here as well. Little retro touch to match in with the little Palm Springs vibe we have going on in the house. And if this is not enough kitchen space for you, butler's pantry just over here, which you can shut off should you choose to have a butler in it. Lots and lots of storage and shelving here. We've got your microwave in here as well. Just keeping some of those appliances out of the way. Loads of storage. So just through this area here, again, you've got another slider where you can lock that off to the rest of the home. There is another powder in here. Now we'll show you the reason for that in just a second. Seems weird to have a powder room off the butler's pantry, but it'll make sense in a sec. Here you've got your laundry space. So again, storage will set you up for your initial uh, washing journey in the new house. We've got some refills there for you as well. Tub, you've got your washer dryer. Again, large storage there just to your left. So I can. So those shelves could be moved out if you wanted to stack something larger. And then this is why we have a separate toilet slash powder room. Again, we'll just give you a little sneak peek of this. So you can come straight from the pool into your outdoor shower. Of course, we have your shampoo and conditioner, as well as your towel ready to go. And then you've got this beautiful pool here. So it will stop people walking through the house when they need to towel off and then use the bathroom. So we can just show you back how that entry works here into this space. Now we'll go back through the kitchen and show you the entertaining space. So look at that. Imagine cooking up a storm and looking out at that every day. Incredible. So we do actually have a couple of extra chairs. Um, we have just removed them for photography because they're quite hefty. So very, very comfortable chairs to sit and entertain in this beautiful kitchen. So a nice large lounge space. Again, ceiling fans in here, ducted air conditioning in here, lots of really lovely lighting accents as well as your down lights. And of course, straight out of this kitchen space into this incredible entertaining space. Now it is warm here today. I expected it to be a little bit cooler, but we're in Queensland and uh, the cooler months in Queensland are absolutely incredible. 
So this is a quirky pool. I actually love it. Something a little bit different. Now, I don't know how tricky Kaz wants to get, but we're going to get her to walk in there so she can show you that a little bit better. So really, there's a, there's a whole semicircle here around the pool where you can just sit in the pool, have a couple of drinks and just look at that. And the height of this pool actually really allows you to take advantage of that view, which is great. Yeah, so just another little aspect for you. Obviously, you can see inside your beautiful home these lovely archways of this outdoor space, but that really shows you, Kaz is standing on the ground there, so that really shows you the advantage that she showed you from before when she was standing on top of that pool area. This hedging just provides some great privacy from the neighbours, but then is angled down slightly so you don't lose your view, which is great. Set up a fire pit for you. Imagine, imagine the night that we hand you the keys and you can just sit there having a drink of something, enjoying the fire and the peace and serenity of this gorgeous grass area. So we'll take you again a little bit more around the garden when we do the garden tour. So we won't go into too much detail around that. But if you have a look through there, you can see a really lovely detail above that chair veranda uh, in the master. You can see just that little detail up there, which actually matches the pool fence right above the chair. And this is a lovely shot to just actually see back inside the house. So we have your barbecue as well, which we have all set up, hasn't been used obviously, ready to go. And then this lovely outdoor space. So we absolutely love this house and we know that you are going to love it too. All one level this absolutely incredible view, $2.9 million worth of first prize, $20,000 worth of gold bullion to do whatever it is you would like to do. And of course, if you buy extra tickets, you will get additional gold bullion if you win. So check out our multi-chance prizes as well. We are limited tickets. We close on the 23rd of June. So get in quick. This one will not last long. Thank you so much for joining me. We can't wait to take you through the garden tour and the design tour. Get your tickets as soon as you can.